Alrighty, what's going on, everybody? So quick little video. Um, and I'm sure most of you guys have done this already. Uh, but one of the things I've said for a very long time, especially if you're paying attention, what's going on with the FTX scandal, if you will, uh, not your not your uh, keys, not your crypto, right? Essentially, I've talked about how I don't like to keep uh, really a lot of anything on centralized exchanges. One of the things that I have been doing for a very long time, ever since it started, was my helium mining. I was mining directly to crypto.com. And what I'm going to do, especially with a lot of the speculation that's going on, like especially if you guys haven't seen what happened in the last 24 hours with crypto.com sending some some ridiculous amount of Ethereum accidentally to another account after a snapshot was made. So what I'm going to be doing is, and not that I have a lot of h and left on crypto.com, uh, I did sell a lot of my h and back uh, last year around like December. Um, so, and, and of course the rewards are, are very dismal, but what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to, um, I use a ledger as my cold storage wallet. You know, I'm sure there's at, at this point, there's two, three dozen different types of cold storage wallets, but, um, I'm going to show you specifically how to do a ledger, um, one with the helium app. Because um, obviously I, I was trying to do it for myself and I felt, uh, you know, why, why not? Let me throw it out there. I really didn't see a lot of good tutorials on how to do it. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll bring it up real quick and I'll show you. The first thing that we have to do is if, uh, and this is specifically only for Helium, if, and I'm going to do it on a Mac computer, a Mac OS, uh, it is going to be the same. Obviously, it's really going to be easier on a Linux computer because it's all going to be through the terminal. Um, or the same is going to happen uh, if you do it on a Windows computer. So the first thing that you have to do is if you've never set up a Helium wallet, what I would suggest is this, and I'll drop this link down below here on how to access your ledger. And this is from the very beginning. You'll see that there's a quick little video here. Um, when you first open up the native Helium app on your iPhone or Android, it'll tell you to get started right here, tap to get started. And then you can either create a new wallet or import from a ledger. Well, unfortunately, um, you know, back when I first started Helium Money, it was before I even got my, uh, my, my ledger Nano X. I, I had a Nano S back then. So, um, yeah. What you need to do, though, is after um, whether or not you've done this, and if this is the first time you're doing it, then you don't have to worry about it. If you're like me and you had a new wallet created in the Helium app and you've been mining and it's been sending to a centralized exchange, in my example, it's going to be crypto.com. I'm going to show you what you need to do. And if you come over here to um, right here where it says Ledger Hardware Wallet, the first thing that you have to do is you have to install it on the ledger. So what we have to do is come over here into your ledger live. So I'm going to bring mine over. Okay. Come over to ledger live and under settings here in the top right-hand corner, what you need to do is you need to make sure you go to experimental features and you need to make sure that develop developer mode is toggled on. Okay. Once that is there, then it's pretty simple. You're going to come over here to the ledger. You're going to, let me put in my pin real quick. Okay, and once you've logged into your ledger, give it one sec here. Okay, so while it's loading in, we are now going to go to the part where we need to install it. So just go into your app catalog. You could just type in h and and you could see mine's already installed. Yours would have a little box that says install. Click on it to install and then confirm it on your Nano X itself. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's all you would have to do to get it prepared. You can go ahead and close out of Ledger Live. 
and if you need a uh, you know a step by step on how to actually install it it's right there you can see the little install button and then go ahead and close out once you close out go ahead and on your nano x just open up the helium app and we go to our next stop right the next step here is again for a mac os you are going to get to the GitHub, and you'll see right here the little. I'll put the link down below for the GitHub repo that's going to break down and give you either in a Linux download, a Windows download, or in my case, the Mac OS. So we're going to do it for Mac OS. Click over here to the GitHub repo, and you'll see it opens up, and here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Mac OS version. The latest is. Uh, 2.2.3 just go ahead and click on it and of course if you are downloading it to windows you're going to have to extract it if you're doing it on mac just double click on it it's automatically going to extract so we've downloaded it it's in my downloads folder and again i'm just going to double click it and here's the folder right so at this point you can rename the folder to whatever you want in my case i'm late i'm going to name it just h and t ledger it's very easy for me to remember it um, all you have to do is just right click and rename and then from there decide where you're going to put it so i put all of my crypto stuff in an external hard drive under crypto and you see that i have here my h and t ledger folder that's going to contain those uh, executable uh, programs so again label it whatever you want and then from there what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to mount or identify where that folder is so navigate to where it is in terminal and then we're going to have to connect it okay so you've already opened up the HT app on the ledger the next thing you need to do is open up terminal and we're going to have to access this through terminal all right so for those of you guys that are not familiar with terminal I'm going to show you the easiest way to navigate to where we've created this folder whether it's on your desktop in your document section if you have a separate folder for it it's very very easy okay um, the prefix that you have to do is going to have to be CD space okay that's going to tell the directory to go ahead and mount whatever you want to um, get to so I've come I've come over here I'm on the external hard drive I've got my crypto folder with my HNT ledger folder in there so CD space I'm gonna select that folder I'm just gonna drag it over and now it's completely pasted in the direct file or the the um, argument that needs to be in there so we're logged into here the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to copy this command line as it is right here in this um, in this document so drop it in and go ahead and hit, hit enter and now we are in okay we are good to go you can see all of the sub commands that are sitting here okay out of these sub commands what we're going to do next is we are going to just check the balance okay so on your nano you're going to also see that it has given you a H&T address just confirm it just go ahead and confirm the address from there it's going to allow you then to display it on your terminal okay so you can see here we have uh, just paste it in we're gonna hit balance um, and again this is where right here on your nano x you're gonna see and there it is right there is my wallet showing uh, 1.149 as the balance I sent myself uh, just from my helium app it took about two three minutes for it to show up but there's my HT address I can copy that I can paste that now into my crypto.com account get it all my HT off of the centralized exchange um, and go from there so that's pretty much it hopefully this tutorial was pretty easy to the point very quick and easy if of course you need to send HT from your ledger you're just going to Put in that command and then put pay you're going to have to enter in the address you're going to send it to and of course if you're going to receive it just copy that address that's posted there um, hopefully if you have any questions drop it down below i'll try to answer them as quick as i can and if not i'll catch you on the next video have a great one thanks for watching